Underwood. Thin ice! <laughs> To smoke some weed and shut up. My God. Oh, I thought for sure. There it is. Boom! Yes! What's going on? <laughs> Quackle, what's up? Carl, what's going on? Schlag boy, calm down. Um... Carl's calling the game early. It's not good. Warner, what's going on? Grown Mike. Thinks he's funny. Let's a little bit. Uh, according to Ked, DGL is not upset. It's just his mom. So. He's probably upset with his mom. <laughs> probably right. <clears throat> Why? What's going on? I'm going to mention you again. It's going to explain today. I'm going to say 25. I, I think it depends how close the game is. But. Do you think we freeze before the game starts or during the game? Uh, Probably during the game. Yeah. It's in the first five minutes of the game. The back spasms must be pretty bad. Yeah. Is he going on? Hansbury? Yeah. So it's fourth game? I feel like it's more than that. Fifth game? Sorry. I've got to scoot up, you said. Yeah, because, you know, why not? He's in there. You guys haven't even made a comment about Ethan yet. Look at his face. Doesn't count. <laughs> Nothing happened. Depressing. Everything about it. He's sad. It sucks. And let me just throw this out there. If we're going to talk about football, let's let's throw this out there. Let's not talk about. If football. you're a Chicago Bears fan, and you spent last night celebrating, you are a fucking loser. <laughs> like that is the lowest of the low. I mean, they haven't won a play. When was the last time the Bears won a playoff game? 2010, when they lost in the NFC Championship to the Packers. I mean, pathetic. But you know what can you do? I guess if you, I guess you have to be that way though. If you're just never going to be good, it's fair. Well, we just brought it up, Hinkle. So, and, <clears throat> and instead of talking about the Packers game, all he's doing is talking about the Bears. Well, so. I still understand. Like the Packers, <laughs> the Packers played good ball last night. They outplayed the Niners. They should have won the game. But that's just the way it's been against the Niners for the last two decades. It's not all time, by the way. They're five and five in the playoffs. Against each other, so it's not an all time thing. Uh, also, let's not forget the Packers, the youngest team in the league, playing a team like the Niners in the Roads. Really tough spot. They should have won the game, they outplayed them. Uh, not gonna blame the refs, played good ball. It's not what your tweets season. are saying yesterday, but sure. Well, when you're in the heat of the moment, I think there's a couple moments where it's like, what are these refs even doing? Like, there was a grounding that they missed, there was a that those spots on third and one and fourth and one seemed horrible. <sighs> you know, what can you do though? It's 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 life, you know. Yeah. Uh, a little word about Rutgers' length there, I think. What do you think? Yeah, that's always a problem. Length on length. But they did destroy them in New Jersey. So that's something to think about, I guess. Was that a thing for Amani back in high school? I Not that I know of. Uh, Brady wants to know who the 12 year old is talking to. <laughs> Jimmy says, So I bring up the Bears. Damn, you are a crybaby. <laughs> uh, dude, Jimmy, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, number one? As if my feed right, wasn't we're, filled we're with Bears started. fans <laughs> and Bears players. Uh, like all I saw last night on Twitter is gone. Yeah, all Back I saw on Twitter well. last night was Bears fans celebrating, quote unquote. It's like you guys are fucking pathetic. Your franchise is a fucking joke. 
everything about it. Your quarterback sucks. Your defense sucks. Your offensive line sucks. Packers are ten and zero under Matt Lafleur against the Bears. Fifty and fifteen since nineteen ninety two. The Bears are a fucking joke of a franchise. So uh, suck on that, James. <laughs> fucking loser. Get out of here. <laughs> but the Packers played good ball. I'm happy with the way the season went. Only, only the Packers can make the playoffs and, and beat the Cowboys and score 48 points in Dallas in a rebuilding year while the Bears' rebuilding year is, oh, I hope I hope Fields is the guy. Oh, my God, we won seven games. Lost to the Packers twice again. Matt said he's not a Packers or a Bears fan, but they played a damn good game last night. That's Jeffrey right. wants to know, Quality TJ, ball. 25 minutes or more. I just said 25. Uh, Ethan thinks 23. 23. So does he? How early does he come in? Uh, I think under sixteen. <clears throat> He's been lost seven years. Well, tell the Niners to stop cheating, <laughs> and uh, we'd be fine. <clears throat> Is Illinois' offens- offensive efficiency better without Shannon? So they're. Talking about it might be. It's got to be close. I feel like they were trending upward when he went out. I could probably run those numbers. Might take me a minute. I wonder if Amani hurt his back lifting. Yeah, be my guess. Thanks, Fletch. <clears throat> back pain's no joke. Yep. Don't play golf. Hi, Alexis. All right. What was the date where Shannon went out? So I guess he didn't play the 29th. Gary got a tip. We're screwed. I mean, Illinois' offensive efficiency is third in the country in games without Shannon since December 29th. So I don't know how much of a factor. They were sc- They just scored a lot of points without him. Huh. Rotating well. There you go, Goody. Okay, good pass. Coleman got to make a first one. Okay. Like three fouls down there. All right, put Shannon in. Offense was going up, defense was going down. (coughs) Put Shannon in. So our audio okay? I got the mic a little closer. Are we loud enough? Put Shannon in. It's never a problem. He ain't making both of these. He shoot fifty percent on the year. He is the most fifty percent. Rutgers ain't even bringing any fans with him. It's like it's all the way on the East Coast. Audio is good. Sounds good. Thank you. Ugh, <laughs> one nothing. <laughs> Gotta hope Rutgers doesn't make threes today. That's how you can lose these games. All right at Coleman, definitely foul. Him. Yeah. Put Dane in. What are we doing? I mean, that's it. Everybody knows how to beat us now. Attack Hawkins with your big. Michigan Hawkins attacks. Do Michigan didn't do that. <laughs> Reed did have a pretty good game, though. <sighs> Goody front and cliff. <laughs> This looks like last Sunday again already with the hey, What is with Coleman. yeah, what is with uh shooting <clears throat> shooting Quincy? Early afternoon games. Keep getting earlier. You're gonna be playing at nine AM on a <laughs> Sunday before you know it. All right, bring man. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? People are figuring out the booty ball. Nice how did that nice. it looked like he stepped, stepped out. out of bounds, yeah. Could be a camera angle thing. What? Okay. Coleman. Lucas! Short. Oh, did he not get smacked on the arm there? That's hard to tell. They're making Hummel do this game. Didn't he do the I guess he was in Iowa yesterday? That's not too far. Get the ball. Somebody can go after it. Way. Ha. Gotta get out of the run. Coleman pushing. 
There we go. Gary Hayes to the line again. Another good call. Now we put uh, Shannon in. Put yeah, him in. Get him in. Here he comes. All right, all right let's all relax. Everybody relax. <laughs> oh, I wrote that all on. Who's he coming in for? Ty? I think I already saw Ty on the bench. I don't know if it's the best thing to cheer like that. I mean, I don't know. Well, it's complicated. It's complicated. Okay, he comes in at seventeen thirty-six. As I've always said, <laughs> before the sixteen. You think he's still gonna be able to shoot? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it just every single one looks fifty-fifty. <laughs> Shannon Garden Simpson. This is kind of weird to see. <laughs> They're letting Illinois push him around defensively. Stop ball. Nope. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. I mean, I can't believe it wasn't a shove. Oh, my goodness. Imagine he, like, tore his Achilles right there. Relax. <laughs> Did you see him slip? That's fine. <laughs> Shannon, alley -oop to Hawkins. Dunk. I feel like I'm not in the game. I may even get to the under 16 before I get in the game. That was good, though. That was good. Help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, his teammates are happy to have him back. <laughs> that was funny. We got the two man game back. I think he dribbled once in that sequence right there. <laughs> he was flying. <laughs> I think it's good that Pykele called that timeout because if Shannon needs to slow oh, down no. a little bit. Slow down. I feel like an idiot with no beard. It sucks. The pass was thrown way behind him. Make fast break screen again. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Rutgers mid range jumper eight to four. Rogers, Shannon, <sighs> Goody, Damask, Hawkins. So Quincy. Well. <laughs> a little short. It was a little short. It was right on line, though. Good, uh, good luck, though. <clears throat> that we run up the score today. I hope they they did. Uh, won the game. Yeah, winning win first. That was a travel. Definitely. A travel. Freight train is running again. Oh, sorry. Transition is a thing we missed out. Yeah, definitely. Make fast breaks great again. Hummel gets as many days off as high knees. Jeff Alexander. What's that guy's name? Uh, that, that was close. Is it Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Alexander? <laughs> Not with a G. He spells it the right way. Eight to four. Eight to four. Seems like Illinois is up 15, though. They had some exciting buckets. They look like a flying all in.
<laughs> Twitter is <clears throat> not happy about Illini fans cheering, which I like him. Twitter's I not happy about anything. Like, I didn't cheer. So, yeah, they I just literally John Rothstein's thing was nothing but they shouldn't play him. So whatever. I didn't cheer. Not cheering against him. It's com it's complicated. It sound French. It's complicated. It's America, you know. It's like nothing that's happening here is against the law. <laughs> what do they want from us? Like, what do they expect line fans to do? Like, yeah, I, don't know. I guess not giving them like a standing think? ovation. You know, it's kind of weird, I guess. But I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. I yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, do you think <laughs> it was some other team? Like. They would cheer for it like it was one of their I think just about anybody. all Americans, like I think just about Purdue would. fans. Yeah, give them a stand, you know, if you came back. Probably, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's obviously not an Illinois only thing. What else are they supposed to do? Oh. Did anyone think they'd boo? I don't think so. Who specifically? It's just all over Twitter. I just check the replies on the Big Ten Network's uh, post about him being back. There's <laughs> a little kid sitting next to you. Relax. <laughs> you do look so different without your beard. Well, it's kind of crazy. What happens, man? It's tough. It sucks. Tell the, tell the Niners and NFL to not cheat. <laughs> All right. Harmon, Shannon, Damas, Goody, Hawkins. Yikes. Missed shot there. Harmon rebound in transition. Shannon kicks it. Goody. Ball's hot. It's moving. This looks like the Missouri game again. Shannon. Make one. Harmon wide open. Ugh. Harmon's got search. Illinois shooting. not making the threes they were making early in the oh, game for against Rutgers the first not time. Good. Yeah, gotta, gotta make some threes. Gotta knock down some triples. <laughs> no way. Rutgers looks lost with the basketball. Yeah. They are struggling to score. Gotta give Shannon a breather here soon. Well, I guess they did have a timeout in the under 16. I don't know if it'll run him into the ground. Not the greatest offensive showing by either club here. And not a lot of offense happening. Like and the ball was hot in the, the last half court sets. Missing threes doesn't help. That's not even close. <laughs> Good play, Damask. By the way, the ball was so hot on that last possession. Not the one there, but the possession before that. Gotta keep the ball moving. Keep it hot. Boom, 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 boom. Like against Missouri. Looks like Quincy's going to come back in. Has the Packers numbers. I think the loss of the beard is worse than the Green Bay loss. It's, a, it's, it's you know, it's cost new business. It sucks. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. It was hard. Getting rid of that much beard hair is hard. That's, yeah, I mean. It sucks. Not yeah. even worth it, honestly. But I didn't want to keep it going. How long have you been growing it? I don't know, like November to now or October. I usually get rid of it at the beginning of January. But Charge. Every time. It's charge every time. It's charge every time, despite the fact that it's a flop by the white guy. I know, but it's charge every time. His arm is out. It is what it is. Shannon's outside shot probably going to be the last thing to come around for him. It's not good because his three-point shooting is what was the most improved. Yeah, those first two were, were tough. He's coming out. Give him a breather. Those first two threes were the worst threes he shot all season. Uh, he was supposed to be keeping it until Illinois law. Who, what? But I didn't expect the Packers to get into the playoffs, so I yeah. had to keep it for that. So then he kept it. Yeah. Forgot he was that. To shave it a week ago. Forgot they were playing the Vikings and Bears, and those are free wins. <laughs> Hit it, Ty. <laughs> keep the ball hot. Keep it moving. There you go. Swing it around. Come on, Quincy. Ah, short. Great play. Uh, let's get offensive board. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal play by Ty. Ethan, our kicker is the worst, and we got cheated by the rest. We made so many mistakes. The number one seed should have lost. Go back, go. Niners suck. They barely beat up beat a seven seed. Not about all that. Callum Wonkers. The kicker thing is tough. 
makes me wonder if it's worth drafting and developing a kicker, you know. I wouldn't cut the kicker, though. That's just me. I believe in the process, as I always have. Beautiful play by Pat Rogers. Should Taylor Swift get a ring if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl? A wedding ring? A Super Bowl ring. Absolutely not. I saw fans. I bet she buys one, that. though. I bet she'll buy one. I hope America Why joins me. Care? I hope America joins me in rooting for the Bills tonight. <laughs> the Bills are America's team. All right, so 12 to 4 with 12.50 to go. There's not a lot of Rutgers length seems to be a factor. Here. I hate that. Harmon definitely got fouled. Hate it either way. Illinois has been able to get some good looks, though, when the ball's moving. No. That call sucks. How do you call a foul bear? Finally decided to call a shooting foul in Illinois. It's on that. Okay. Super Bowl's going to be Niners, Ravens. He had, his, he had his right arm on his hip. That was it. Nothing else. No other contact. How was that a foul? Uh, 49ers said playoff wins are free against the Packers. This would make the playoffs. This loss hurt me worse than any other somehow. <laughs> There's a line I keep going on. I haven't even brought up the Packers. <laughs> Everybody's talking about them. <clears throat> Press. Go. Press my chin. All right, Harmon. All right. Harman. I get I get subtly, right, subtly right. ro- ro- uh, rooting like. 0 for 6 from 3. Ouch. Quietly rooting against your divisional. Of foes in the playoffs, but like outwardly cheering is an embarrassment. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a bad look. You agree? It's a bad look. It is. How the fuck that go? Rutgers making shots now. We better get the ball moving. Keep the ball hot. Let's go. Get Shannon back in. What are we doing? <laughs> Dane time. They might not use Dane at all today. Because Quincy came out, Dane didn't come in. Hawkins will come out soon. Dane probably won't come in. Like a Quincy at the five. I'm a little Shannon at the five. Hawkins just dribbling. Just dribbling. Good pass. I mean, kind of good pass. Here he is somehow. Finishing strong. It was a good pass. A little good low. Quincy game so far. Missed the three. Draws some fouls. He three for four from the Makes line. Makes three throws. Uh, two for four. Dane's coming in. God damn it. I, <laughs> I jinxed it. Dane time. Here goes a crazy switch. Grab it, Coleman. <laughs> hey, you spelled cries wrong. <laughs> C-R-I-E-S. Right as I said, it's a good Quincy game. He does that. Oh, thank God. All right. Under 12, 16 to 9. What's wrong with being a Cardinals fan? What's wrong with winning 11 World Series? Is there something wrong with that? Imagine rooting for a fucking Chicago team. How about that? Chicago, that hellhole of a city. Except for the north side. I actually like the Wrigley Field area. I like Wrigley Field a lot. I'll go as far to say as I like Wrigley Field more than Bush Stadium. I'd say it right to everybody's face. <laughs> they love to, we love to cry because we expect success because we have... Uh, four Super Bowls, 11 World Series, 13 NFL championships. Um, you know, it's a winning culture. It's a winning history, unlike Chicago teams, which have been complete shit for years outside of the Cubs mm-hmm. winning the World Series in 16, the Bears winning the Super Bowl in 85. Uh, the Blackhawks obviously had some success, 10, 13, 15, and then the uh, Bulls, obviously six titles with Jordan. But, uh, you know, it's t- it's got to be tough being a Chicago sports fan. Got to be tough. I mean, Chicago, you know, it's tough. It's not great. I think St. Louis is probably shittier, uh, but that's just me. What's the Orange Crush's deal? I feel like even Northwestern student Northwestern student section is way better than the Orange Crush. Not even close. Just go watch a Northwestern home game and then watch an Illinois home game and you'll be like, yeah, they're way better. I almost wonder, is our student section in the wrong spot? You think they're too far back? Yeah, but like also put them behind the rims. 
Well, half of it goes behind their arms. The bands behind the That half, doesn't right? do anything. It doesn't look good. Like, it actually, you watch a Northwestern game, it looks good with that. <laughs> what does that one say? Says see. you're a Blues fan as well. It all adds up. She's insisting Shannon play and her son sit the bench. <laughs> April? Orange Crush is too much nervous energy or something. They're just bad, I would say. Um, Jimmy, you just... They're not consistent. Jimmy, you seem, you seem too concerned with other people's fans rather than the direction of your own team and the fans of your teams. It just... You seem overly judgmental of another fan base. And, I mean, if you look at the Blues and Blackhawks, I mean, the Blues... Uh, much less success in the history of the franchise over the Blackhawks. But guess what? Who, who won the most recent cup? Want to look that up? Yeah. Take that. Sorry, the NHL uh, doesn't hand us the number one pick whenever we suck. But what can you do? Stop. Is there an Illini game on? All right, Shannon's back in. We got Danger, Harmon, Gary, Damask, Shannon. This could be interesting. Who's running the ball up the court here, Damask or Shannon? Or Harmon, or Gary, or Danger. Could be one. Danger. Be anybody. Danger. Could be anybody. It's Illinois ball. Dane sighting. Yeah. Here we go, Jeffrey. This is your moment. <laughs> Big spot for you. Does he play more than two minutes? What was the last the time they? What was the last time they wore the orange fighting Illini mask jerseys? What was the last time, did they wear those the other night? I, I don't even remember. Uh, I don't think they did. I, I don't remember the uniforms from like any game. What is wrong? There were scripts against. What America. did they wear against Purdue? Navies? Shannon's back to drawing foul calls. Yeah, I gotta love it. It's a little new action right there. Shannon getting it on the elbow. Phoenix Gill is in the building. Shannon we says we both like it. the line, so we both like punishment. Exactly. Michigan game. They wore the orange. Kendall Gill is also there, obviously, because his son's there. So Fears commits tomorrow, right? There's a crystal ball from Piper. Piper, yeah. Are we getting good? Sounds like it. I don't know. I wonder what the what do the recruits think when that stuff happens? Like when the crystal ball gets tweeted, there's an account that tweets them and it tags them. Tags them in it? Yeah. What, what do they think? They're like, oh, I'll mess around and switch to Providence right now. <laughs> Up nine. Shannon double screen goes under him. <laughs> Gary A jumps over everybody. Mask booty ball. Double. That's where he struggles. Like, he just gets hammered. Like <laughs> he still sucks at it. Yeah, he sucks when he gets it, but still that dude was like pushing him as he was trying to grab. You would think ball. they would be telling him to like feel try to feel the double. Like, it seems like he's always late to react. Yeah. Who specs? He, he can make some threes. You better watch out. Well, I mean how much did Pre win by yesterday? Like he just shoving Gary. Uh, Purdue won by a bunch, twenty something. What I saw was just felt like they had complete control. Yeah, I was a travel. <laughs> they pass it out. Pass by the mask. <laughs> Great play by the mask. Twenty to nine. I feel like Purdue didn't win by that much, but they were up double digits like the whole game. Yeah, I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was. What the hell happened to Duke? I don't know. I saw the picture of Blake Henson. It was going awesome. like this and them flipping. They're flipping them while, yeah, dude. It was <laughs> awesome. Uh, three one by fourteen. Okay. I just felt like they were up ten the whole game. I was going to say twenty four, so I was just off ten. <laughs> I love how they call that on Dane. That's a stupid call. <clears throat> Road games just got a lot tougher with Shannon back. Time to start traveling the Illini Nation to support our guys. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. What the hell that happened was... to Kansas? Mask and danger hitting 100%. Remember to UCLA, weren't they up by like 20 on Arizona? Yeah. Uh, uh, Cronin got teed up 
about four or six minutes left. He's having a tough year. <laughs> Kentucky looks like Kentucky is going to turn into – I would say Kentucky will be a top five team in the country, maybe top three going to March. That team is loaded. Yeah. They got that foreigner playing now. Looks like uh, Wim Banyama out there. Grab it. He looks talented. Angle <laughs> says it's frustrating watching the crush stand around. Whoa, that was a great bailout call. Shannon had no chance there. Last three games, the strategy has been to double the mask too often. There's nobody to pass to on my side. <clears throat> yeah, and that's where he's got a lot of his turnover. I'll be an Orange Crush member right now. <laughs> That is a deep three by the mask. Gary! Holy shit. Quincy Quincy does that like once every three games. Yeah, he, does. he did it the Good last, last game. Yeah. Did he put back four offensive rebounds on probably three of them, Gary? 22 to 9. 830-ish. That was really nice. So oh, was a shot. That's Shannon a almost had a block. Chest pass. How are you? 22 11. 8.30 to go. Illinois, I don't think they made a three yet. No. 0 for 6. Well, 0 for 7. 8 now? Shannon's maybe. missed two. See, he can pass out of that double. He goody in there and make some threes. The mask, you cannot. He traveled. All right. I'm going to stop second guess on the offensive end. Long yeah. time with Coleman sitting. That's true. But, hey, if you can give him a breather, he can play him. Look really nice. I'll leave it by then. Goody back in. A little three point shooting. Coleman's back in. Dane's out. Rogers, Goody, Damas, Shannon. Michigan State's only have two right now. 14 minutes ago. I travel. <laughs> oh man. Ty and Quincy are flying around. <laughs> Out rebounding 16 to 8. Nice. 20 to 8 points in the paint. This is the opposite of last week so far. Last Sunday, I should say. Nebraska beat Northwestern yesterday. Did I see that? Uh, did they? There we go. Adam, Luke, baby. Luke, Luke is. 27-13. Pykele needs a timeout. I did see that uh, Warner had Kaise tweeted, but I never saw it. 7 5 What's that cost? <laughs> the Big Ten has three top ten offenses right now. Purdue, Illinois, Wisconsin. Illinois is going up. They were like eleven. Conference only offense, Elmer's third, defense are third. So take that. Nebraska. Barnes were 24 on loss. That's not Poo Pooey, only nine points. Poo Pooey, nine points, two for 15. Ouch. Seven assists, though. Did you get to the free throw line at all? Nebraska shot 54% from three. That's tough for Northwestern. Northwestern uh, made 10 threes and lost. Sucks. Nice try, Carl. 
Call it accelerated. You just hear it all the time. Uh, Goody shoots 35% better on a pop a shot, pop a shoot, rather than dribble and shoot. I'm not even more that. You have hard numbers. I also think he's better from uh, the top of the key. Better from anywhere but the corner, I would say. Which is not be that bad before. Who's all his best corner shooter in the league? Person. Harmon, probably. There's an actual number. How you doing? Yeah, there are five fourteen. How many times do you travel? How many times have you tried? A high turnover efficient. All right. We guess Ty, Hawkins, Gary, A. Shannon. Good. It's Ty, Shannon, Goody, Demaz, Hawkins, and no Gary. So it's the starters with Shane and then here. That's two on top. That's just a dumb call. Can you get a replay on that? They can get away with 2,000 on top. Though. It's stupid, but that first one sucked. Yeah. First one, he had his hand on the hip and didn't do anything else. I feel like Ty doesn't get cautious on either side. What? He, he, he would touch you. He altered his shot he, so bad that it broke like his down. His arm. Like when he was jumping his, at the beginning of his jump. That's a terrible call. <laughs> Tease into Toys R Us after the end. Or Toys R Us closed down. Toys R Us is dead, dude. Sadly. Nothing wrong with looking young, you know? I'm still. The beard, the beard just fooled yeah. you guys. All this time. I mean, I'm, I'm 19 years old, that was plus five. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. Shoot it. That's interesting. Hopkins doesn't want to shoot. Oh, Michigan. Shannon Booty Ball. It's not working well. Shinewinder, what's going on? I didn't think he touched the ball. One for nine on threes. Struggling. Goody is one for one. Two of the positives. He's one for two. No shot. Or maybe one for three. No way. One for one. <laughs> I don't think Goody's taking any. Rutgers has scored like multiple points for him. Passing on Jermaine Lewis, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coleman should have took the first one he had. He say he takes a dribbling fadeaway. Goody's one for two. Nice six, John. Shoot it. Well, oh, 0 for 5 Coleman game. Big trouble if one of his three games. 0 for 5 Coleman game. You can get Ty back in. We said nineteen six over on Rutgers Champagne Room. It's one fucking game. They tweeted. Can Coleman not at threes anymore or something? I mean, it's one game. He made three in the last game. He's pretty streaky. I don't know if we've learned that in the four years he's been here. The mass makes one move, tries to dunk it, gets fouled. Can't dunk it because he's white. Well, he can dunk it, but not there. Could he hit a transition three? Where's Quincy? 
Yeah, that's weird. I wouldn't put plates in there again with this boy. Look at this small thing. He dunks this in his mouth, but he's strong with the ball. He's got to be strong with the ball. That didn't look very confident. This is kind of like the last Rutgers game, except I'll always make the three. You know. Nine nineteen five thirty eight. Might not be a very high scoring day here. Doster weighs in. I saw the, the tweet. I did. Uh, I think that's fair, but Doster also looked like a scared little bitch during that emergency podcast they did. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that. I mean, I think in Illinois fans were doing that regardless. So. I don't even. Yeah, I, I. From what I saw, like I, I probably would not have done that, but I, I don't know. I also am not going to stand up there like a scared little bitch, like Dosser looked like during that. I mean, I think he's he's good. He's good at what he does, but he seems scared to say anything <laughs> the entire time, while Good Bloom was just going going in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tricky situation, you know. There's a reason we haven't commented on it very much. All right. Shannon getting fouled easily there. I mean, Jesus. I was about to say another word like assault, but I won't. Well, it's, I didn't say anything else. They were grabbing the shit out of him when he got the ball. Jesus. Uh. It's a serious situation, as Brad said. <laughs> Brad can't. They must be telling Brad to not say anything. You know, oh, right yeah. From so, but I'm not gonna give him that call. That's all right. Oh, that was close. They're gonna look at it. Calm down, Harmon. Don't get teed up over it. Was that guy not saying that they were gonna look at it? <laughs> That's going down. They're not going to overturn that. God. I mean, that's impressive by Harmon, though. You got to make some threes or make some shots or something. I thought they were looking at Why it. would they? I mean, it was clearly a goaltend. That, or not a, yeah, I mean, it was yeah. Yeah, clear. It was two different goaltends. The ball was going <laughs> down and it hit the glass first. Like, <laughs> the offense not flowing. Where's Quincy? Oh, there he is. Where's Goody? We got no shooters. They're running a zone, like trapping zone. You got to pass. Nice take. Harmon's Harman. not afraid to go to the rim. Everybody else is afraid to go to the rim. No kidding. Shannon doesn't want to go to the rim. <laughs> 31-21. 22 points in the paint out of 31. Plus one three, plus six free throws, I guess. So really doing nothing but scoring in the paint. <laughs> Okay, Cliff makes a 30. You gotta be wow. kidding me. Only shooting 77% on twos, 10% those on two. threes. Wait, those are three. Okay. That's definitely I thought three. they had 21. Or I thought they had 22. I, I, you gotta like, I didn't know Cliff <laughs> could even shoot outside. God forbid we Tell me Ty seven. Rogers can't shoot three. Yeah, Cliff seriously. can. Tell me Dane Danger can't pop one with his left hand. Uh, yeah, they're fouling him. Like, I don't understand. Like, why? The head. I feel like Damascus gets fouled every time he backs down. I mean, probably bias on that, but still. Shut up. It's 11 to 4 Rutgers since the last time out. It was 27 13. 31 24 now. Good job, Carl. Toss the skin. some of your picks for the podcast tomorrow college basketball podcast tomorrow big big stuff big time it's for my daughter 
All right. <laughs> Looks like you went pretty guard heavy with your uh, players list. Huh? On here, pretty guard heavy. Yeah, it's a lot of guards. Definitely a lot of guards. It's a lot of scoring leaders in the conference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, TSJ thoughts? Uh, it looks like he hasn't played in six games. It's kind of what it feels like right now. Uh, Illinois' offense is not very good against this collapsing two three or whatever Rutgers is running. You think Indiana State's a he got he got to make threes to get him out of that, and they're not doing that. So could be close at halftime projecting forward. Don't call it possession arrow is Rutgers ball, I believe. Indiana State is definitely not a pretender. Right? How the hell did Kansas lose big. yesterday? I don't know. It's getting increasingly harder to win on the road. Did we smoke weed? No. In college basketball. Rutgers does have good D. Yeah, that's the one thing we... Goaltending was overturned, team. Hinkle says. How do they overturn that? Rutgers is getting screwed here, guys. We need a different angle or something. I mean, I, that's tough. If you called it initially, man, that oh, looks like yeah, it's going yeah. down. I, that was, it, it did not hit the glass first, I'll tell you that. That's true. You kind of only won by one. Yeah, miracle three at the end, though. That Seton Hall. Seton Hall should have won. Yeah. People were saying that the refs were bailing out Seton Hall. I didn't see that. There was a couple tough calls on Seton Hall in the third overtime. Frank the Tank curse, though. How do they turn it over like five minutes later? They go back and look at it after. They do it at a stoppage, I guess. Since Rutgers is getting they screwed here. They can't do here, it live in live game. Since Rutgers is getting screwed here, if the if the ball does if the ball does not lie, Damas will miss this. That's true. Rutgers is getting hosed here. Psych! <laughs> 32 20. That was a clear goaltending. I, I, it looked like, a, like if he called it on the floor, I don't know how you overturn that because – Home cooking. It definitely looked like it was coming down. Home I'll take it. I'll take it. Missed it. Ball don't lie. Damn it. I thought, I thought we had it locked into the two there. After Coleman again. It's a good move by Cliff. Good defense. No fouls. Shannon. Oh, that thing was in too. Grab it, Harmon. Somebody help. What the frick was that, Coleman? Why like why be sped up so much? Harmon just busted his ass to get that possession back. And chuck it out of bounds. Shannon 0 for 4 from the field. He hasn't looked great. Michigan State and Maryland's in a tight one late. Who do we benefit more from winning? Maryland. I mean, Maryland beat us, we beat Michigan State. So. At least they'll always get rebounds. The defensive end. Come on, Come on Harmon. Come on. Yes. Harmon for three. Needed Harman. one. Harmon's had a very good game so far. And we wondered what Harmon's minutes would look like with Shannon back. <laughs> I mean, Rodgers is, is out due to foul trouble. But right. I think this might take – it definitely is going to take some goody minutes away. Yeah. Harmon's still not going to have as many minutes, but – Cliff's doing a lot. MSU is a top 25 net right now. They're way better than their record. That's I mean, I like crazy the, the aggressiveness, though. Yeah, I guess you don't want you don't want Michigan State to fall out of a quad one win, right? Or something. 
the mask does a lot of messing around with the ball, so I'm fine with him just. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Threw it right in his hands. <laughs> Gary, oh, make nice. one. Yes. Yeah. 38-26. Quincy hits a three. Harmon hits a three. Shannon laid hands on that catch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing Coleman threw three it right in the 14. basket. They're taking more threes. I think that's something you got to do against the defense. Like right well, yeah, they're the way they're taking things defense. away from you. Nope. You, they don't, he already made one, Coleman. I mean, they're going to take a couple steps out of the base. Did he not get shoved? Did Gary not get shoved in the back? Coleman with the Mac advance. Here we go. Shannon downhill. Make a basket. Oh, God. Assault. Trying to kill him. I got to stop saying that. <laughs> I say it anyway. I know I'm you do. I know. I know. Yeah. Adam Schefter. Look All up right. Schefter's tweet. Won't be close to half. Line I control. Shouldn't we be doubling Cliff? The other guys can't make threes. It's a good I, foul. You would think they would. They're trying to prove that Coleman can handle it. That's a good foul. I mean, that is a hard foul. Could be intentional. <laughs> I've seen weaker intentional skull. He's got three fouls. Fernand, Fernand, I don't think it's actually Fernandez. I think it's something different. I didn't pronounce it. I thought I heard it. Oh, yeah. Fernandez. 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 Tell me, look it up. I believe you. The last but, game. I, I mean, I will. I don't think he'd lie about some guy on the Pronunciation. No. No. I'd like to see him make some shots in the second half. Yeah, and he hasn't made one yet. A little rusty, which is to be expected. He hasn't played. Yeah, game, game day, action. Game day. And he game probably had what, like it's a one, lot one and a half practices? Robbie Hummel said it's a lot different playing an actual college basketball game. Especially when you're not that talented, right, Robbie? <laughs> good joke. <laughs> good Made it far. He's a good player. 40 to 26. Good player, but definitely a better commentator than he was a player. But that's not a shot at his, him as a player. It's like Bardo's a much better player than he is commentator, like maybe close. Our guy Bardo, who we will have on the podcast this summer, lock it in. All right, I didn't call foul there. Shoot it. <laughs> you got the starters plus Harmon over Goody in right now. Well, I guess Shannon didn't start, so Rogers is not in. Gary A. Booty Ball. Pass it out to the basket. Shannon, thirty-five Shannon. feet away from the basket. Shannon. Almost got that roll. <laughs> he had no shot of scoring there. None. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. One shot. It gets Shannon a little downhill way up here. Call timeout. 22.8 seconds to go in the half. Oh, the Brad's trace. gonna draw up something good here, I bet you. Let Jeff Alexander cook. TSJ four <laughs> points on pace for about ten. I don't know what that is right there. Lots of bees in there. <laughs> That's it looks like me, Texan. Uh yeah, all free throws, right? <clears throat> yeah. Or to the free throw line. He needs to see something going. He's that's all his points are from the line. Shan's D still there? Definitely. I mean, no chance. <laughs> that's not what happened either way. Uh, no chance for Paul Quist to score on Shannon there in transition. Like he turned his entire body away from the basket and just threw it up. Yeah. He had no chance. He should have slowed down. Where's the discipline? Discipline. Look at the guy sitting next to Cliff. <laughs> Goggles. <laughs> They're going small. Rutgers going small in the defensive end here. This is why they should have put Dane in, Jeff. Posting him up. Yep. Should have put Amani in street clothes in. <laughs> Got attacked by bees. Good. Great. Good, Damas. Great. Good job. Then foul down there, huh? Demas I think Damas minutes need to be limited a little bit. I think Damas sucks. Okay. <laughs> 
That sucks. We didn't get a shot. Look at that guy in the a full orange with a basketball. What the heck was that? All right, 40 to 28. Probably should be more than that, but the mask had other plans. <laughs> I mean, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> the mask really has been sloppy at least. He's just like they double him and he pees his pants. They got to figure out a way to make things easier for him. And also make hit him make some shots. <clears throat> Let's put on the uh, Maryland Michigan State game. Go down to the wire. Oh, commercial, of course. I will say, out of all the sports, not counting baseball and hockey, I guess, so really just football and the NBA, but really just football. College basketball, commercial-wise, is not too bad. Football is really bad, NFL and college. Way too many commercial breaks. And it's like, it's not like the NFL doesn't have enough money already. Uh, Carl wants you to do a moving versus set three test. It's... Uh... Like negative five out. So. If there was no snow, I would. I'll tell you that right now. <clears throat> I would say by February we can go back to halftime shows because I think early February is supposed to get warmer. I'll let the golf season commence. Do we see any DGL or Nico in the second half? I think we might. I don't know who we would see between the two. Feels like it'd be Nico, but you never know based on the recent DGL developments. Are we going to have a guard uh, jam if once Fears gets here in 2025? Sincere, Rogers, Nico, Fears, DGL, Nico. I just said Nico twice. That's five. Yeah. Plus transfers. Oh, hey, Rogers. Moved to the three. Rogers will move to the NBA after he starts making threes. <laughs> Here in California, I'm not rubbing in, Carl. That's where I wish I was. That would look so. Angle says play the best lineup and run it up. What's the best Pretty lineup bad. right now? I feel like the best lineup is the starters with Shannon over the mask. It's probably the best lineup. Wow. But I would also say Harmon over Gooding. So it's probably Roger, Shannon, Harmon, Gary A. Hawkins is the best lineup right now. That's just me. Uh, Maryland's down one, 523 to go in college. Or Michigan State leads 54 53. Both these teams 11 and 7 overall. Really, that tells the whole story, though. Michigan State had a 15 point lead. 15, uh, 12 lead changes in this in this ball game. Two of the best guards, probably the two best guards in the league here Tyson Walker and Gary Young. I would take both of those guys over uh, completely. How about you? Sure. Sure. Next one, Walker's been looking at a rough hand there. Which is St. Louis by three. Maryland has a great court. Design just looks really good. But Rogers. No, but defensively and getting rebounds and finishing around the rim, I mean, Illinois was doing pretty well in the paint with Rodgers in the game. Why did Tyson Walker not use the glass there? That was weird. Mary Young draws a foul. How many turnovers does Illinois have? <laughs> Five, maybe? I guess. What do you think? I what think that Damask has three. Coleman threw one out of bounds. All right, probably like seven. Six. <laughs> Final guess, six for you? Yeah. Six. Gary, one. Hawkins, two. Damask, two. 
Well, I'll contest. It only lists five. What's the other one? <laughs> Twenty-one percent five on threes and sixty-nine percent twos for Illinois. Twenty-one percent five on threes. Maryland hasn't scored in four and a half minutes, and they're down three. That's pretty good, especially when they're down 15 earlier. I hate that shot. It went in, but I hate it. Their wipe a Q3 loss with Maryland getting back on track. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Mask 11 turnovers the last two and a half games. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. Tough spot. I mean, you know, look, uh, he sucks. <laughs> Coleman Hawkins, two turnovers on pace for a four turnover game. That would be correct. That's how math works. Do you agree with Hinkle? He said uh, he'd rather Maryland win to wipe the Q3 loss. Maryland getting back on track. I was actually kind of impressed they were running more plays today. That, that play in the half was brilliant. <laughs> what do you think about the fact that they probably drew something up in the huddle there and then that bridge stood around and the mass turned it over? That's that's pretty poor basketball there. I'll tell you that. That's tough. Entertain the chat. We're really good, really, really good. Some would say elite. Oh, shoot. How many more games for Shannon is back to normal? Uh, when, when's their next game? I mean, he gets back into practicing, I'd say, by the next game, unless it's, like, Tuesday. Maybe Ohio State, one thirty. Uh, I think he'll be – I mean, get a week of practice in, he'll be all right. Damascus could be elite if he learns how to dribble – <clears throat> and works on his first step. Yeah, Damas, Damas can't handle the double.
only shuts down Omaru in the second half. We crush them. Young throws it off the backboard. The Oregon Utah game going against the Lions Bucks game is crazy. Both starting at two. Yeah, I don't know why they. Demas just sucks against the double. <clears throat> Four o'clock tomorrow, folks. Tune in. I'll retweet it on the Illini account on Twitter. It will be on YouTube. College basketball show. I'll be talking for like an hour. We'll see what he does. So, <laughs> And then uh, probably February 5th or 6th or whatever the first Monday in February is, or the week after we'll do the uh, Countdown to March Madness episodes for the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the way. I think this year I think we should try again to do the Selection Sunday night stream reaction on the Illini on here usually gets a lot of viewers. So I think you called in from uh, your father's place last year. <laughs> and then he came and then you were home and then you got back on. It was it was like a two and yeah, a half. I think my dad's years. going to Minnesota for the Big Ten tournament, so he won't be back. But... Out of all the years to go to the Big Ten tournament, you go to Minnesota. Uh, he's some guy's got a sweep for him. It's going to be like four degrees in I March know. in Minnesota. But I'd go if there was a sweet, all-inclusive sweet. Pair. As would I, but you know, <laughs> it's Minnesota, so it's tough. With, uh, you never know, it could be negative 20 there in March. Do you think Shannon starts the second half? Probably not. No. Do you think he starts the next game? Where in Minnesota? Uh, the Big Ten tournament is in Minneapolis, I believe. I assume it's, is it where the Timberwolves play? I don't really know where else it would be. Or is it where Minnesota? It can't be where Minnesota yeah, plays. Yeah, where they play. What's your favorite win at Minnesota in the Brad Underwood era? And why is it the one with the 2021 team where they went in there and won by like 40? It's got to be it. There's some good ones, though. Some fun <laughs> ones. <clears throat> Whatever Frazier is. Target that center. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's where the. Uh, is that's the game back on? Timberwolves. It's got to be close, right? I don't know. Did you go back up? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I think the Timberwolves play there. I assume it's probably the uh, the Wild. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. They probably had a lot of choice. I don't think college basketball cares about going up against the NFL like college football does. The NFL is overrated, as I've always said. I mean, I had the Duke. Pittsburgh game on rather than the Green Bay game on yesterday. There's some people that some people that uh, prefer college basketball. Target Center is a big arena. They're not gonna they're not gonna be able to fill that place up. <laughs> no way. Bet it only holds like nineteen thousand. <laughs> oh, I don't. I think a lot of people will travel to Minnesota for the Big Ten tournament. Should Probably. always be an Indy. Should just always be an Indianapolis. But the Minnesota is not the worst place for it no. overall because uh, obviously they had it in D.C. one year, right? That's worse. I would say Indianapolis is the top. It should always be there. But then if it's not, I think Chicago. Well, you know they're going to go to the West Coast eventually. That'll be fun. Big Ten tournament from Westwood, California. <laughs> Actually, probably just LA. You think anybody would show up to that? Illinois fans, maybe. Oregon fans? The pit celebration was awesome <laughs> after that game. Yeah, it was. Hey, I mean, the Pac-12 I loved it. The Pac-12 tournament was in Vegas. I could see the Big Ten tournament being in Vegas. And Illinois fans have proven to be able and to show up. They can go to Vegas. What do you think about this reply to Doster? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what people expected. It's tough. Uh, Rostin just tweeted everybody needs to grab their nitroglycerin pills. 
for this for the Michigan State game. Yeah, I guess uh, Tyson Walker drains a three, then Jameer Young drains a three. Actually, apparently it's a two by Jameer Young. So I think it's 61-59. Start of the second half here in uh, Champaign. Brandon Godden and uh, Robbie Hummel on the call. Godden will soon be heading to spring training for the Atlanta Braves. He might not do that, though. He might just do the regular season. Walker and Young going back and forth. Two best cars in the country, or the Big Ten. Two best Big Ten guards, way better than uh, Boo Booey. Tell you that. <laughs> Here's the top three guards in the Big Ten. Number Point guards. Number one. Tyson Walker, even though I think it really Hogarth's the point guard, but I'm saying small guards, lead guards. Walker, number one, Young, number two, Moretti, number three, would be my list. Curbelo, four, Trent Frazier, five. Do we know why Curbelo's out? I think it should say Curbelo in parentheses, weird. (laughs) (laughs) He's a weird guy. This weirdness is acting up. What was that? Okay. Well, up eight all of a sudden. Rutgers has scored six in. straight, four straight and a half. All right. Damask ruined the season with that turnover in the half. I'm going to throw that out there in the, into the universe. That was pathetic. Goody is not happy about something. Which is very ungoody like Rutgers appears to be playing much harder than Illinois. There you go, Damascus. You better be making those if you're going to shoot them. Had him on his hip. They need to buy tickets to the seats behind them and put some nice-looking ladies. It's good Excuse defense me? by Hawkins. Good defense. You don't have to read every comment. <laughs> yeah, seven, I do. seven, four, and four for Damascus. I mean, Jeffrey's the one that said it. I I thought I could trust Jeffrey. Not to put weird <laughs> comments in the chat. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> There's a double. There's a double. I, I mean. I think he almost traveled there. That was close. Harry A. Coleman doubles nice. I'll tell you that. What the Ooh, okay. frick? Good look. Long. Good board. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> almost doing? a good board. Whoa! <laughs> what? They always call that because the guy who falls down first. That's How is that on Goody? Goody got pulled down. What what are we doing? Come on. What is that ref looking at, man? Come on. No shit, Brandon. (laughs) What are we doing? What was that ref looking at? Some of these refs are insane. (laughs) I don't understand that call at all. The mask says, get it out of here. How is that on Goody? That is unbelievable. Wouldn't the top point guard in the Big Ten be Caitlin Clark? That's out on Williams. <laughs> that guy just bugs me that he sits there first. Oh, the guy, I got you, behind the announcers. Okay, rebound, there boys. Go. Come on. How was that on Goody? I'm not, I, I can't <laughs> stop thinking about that. Hawkins, just shoot it one time. Oh my goodness, Gary! <laughs> Coleman is is back to Coleman. MSU wins sixty one to do that. I think Coleman might have been reading the press clippings about his performance <laughs> against Michigan. I put up a bucket though. Like Quincy's about to have his eighty third triple or uh, double double this season. <laughs> Quincy is exactly what last year's team could have used in terms of a guy that can help you win games. Yeah. <laughs> that ref down there is mm-hmm. blind. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's like hoping that everybody else bails. Pykel, t- typical New Jersey style. Pykel slipped him a twenty at the half. Tony Soprano. <laughs> Quincy liked that one. He enjoyed that one. The end of the Michigan State Maryland game was anticlimactic. Ball rolls out of bounds after Young loses it. Sounds about right. <laughs> We don't have any fun game winners anymore. 
He was ready to shoot that one. I don't know why, but he was. That hit good or simple. <laughs> I don't know. We can't get a call. That happened fast. 44-32, 17 minutes ago. Coleman sucks. <laughs> no, he's funny. You look at his likes on Twitter. I was, I was scouting his likes. And you were. He was liking. Uh, How come he doesn't like our stuff? Liking stuff about his performance from, from Thursday. Reading them press clippings. You got to get back under control. Defensively, I think he's been good today. I mean, he's got a, he beat has, a couple yeah. times. Got a rebound there. That's good. He's pushing he's it. Really not pushing making, the He's ball. not making yeah. the right reads. That's a good one, though. Come on. <laughs> did he throw that at him? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. That didn't even look like a shot. Did, no, he did not. <laughs> Colin, too is many the, uh, checks. Is the Iowa women's game on, like, national TV or something? Is that why people are? I would assume it's from an NBC. I'll check it after this possession. I think that's why people are talking about it. Iowa, Ohio State or something. Mm. That guy is hooking his arm. He's literally got his arm like this. That was a crazy shot. <laughs> These refs don't know what they're doing. What channel is it? Why are so many people talking about it? It's not on ESPN. Fox Sports 1, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> People are talking. Maybe it's, on, it's probably on Peacock. Oh yeah. Which that's a great way to grow women's basketball. Harman throw the games on Peacock. Harmon makes a three on a possession where he threw one at the defender from the corner. <laughs> NBC Warner says it must be over or supposed to be over now. I guess and that's uh, why the listing is different. Iowa going down in overtime. I'll put it on at the under sixteen, which is now. <laughs> Cliff and one, 47-34, of course. God forbid we get a call. By the way, Cliff, I look. Cliff is seven for 35 in his career from three. He's taken 35 threes. That is shocking. Engel says they don't have legs. They're missing everything short. Didn't Illinois have a big lead over Iowa State in women's basketball last year and blew it in the second half? And they beat Iowa. <laughs> Women's team sucks this year in Illinois. What's her name? Tough year. What? What's her name? Something McMahon says right there. What? I don't know. I'm just wondering what it was. Okay. It's a different name. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Imagine the NFL fans tuning in and it's like, what am I watching? <laughs> They're trying to grow the game by having Kaylin Clark lose. Cameron Angle sucks ass. She's going to make one here. Good foul. Good foul. I don't know about fouling up two with 29 seconds left. Clark has 43. Wait, they're up eight. Why did I think it was 93-90? I don't know. Okay, number the, the guard in the backcourt there looks like really small. He's carrying everybody. <laughs> Oh. Little bit of pig skin. Touchdown. I was making a step. I bet that step was loud in the camera. I was coaches playing into him. I don't know what she was mad about. Look at the orange crush doing something. The Big Ten's going on a hell of a run in championships. We got Michigan. National Championship in football. We got Purdue in basketball, Iowa in women's basketball. Uh, we got UCLA winning a college World Series this summer. That'll count towards the Big Ten. Um, wrestling, probably Iowa or Ohio State or something will win. So we got to run here, folks. 
Nothing that involves Illinois, though. Minnesota is going to win the Frozen Four in hockey. <clears throat> Cliff having a hell of a game. Yep, good Cliff game. All right, Hawkins, Damask, Garrier, Shannon, Shannon, this Harmon. Is first time? Yeah. yeah. First time in the entire game, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Quick double on Damask, whipping around. Okay. All right. Lots of head fakes. No shots. Ooh, Harmon was there. Ugh, Coleman, 0 for 5. Great board by Gary. Great Garrier. board. <laughs> Screwed by streamer, everybody. We went down. <laughs> Took us till the second half to go down, though. <clears throat> Harmon made a Oh, off of a Gary offensive board. Harmon's wide open in the corner. Hawkins no way. Draws a foul. Oh, I thought they were calling three seconds. <laughs> you see that tweet about Edie being in the lane for ten seconds, even though he keeps going out and coming back in. Like people are getting, they're either trolling really hard and making Purdue fans mad, which is great, or they're idiots. Because <laughs> there was like here's There's Zach. Probably a little bit of both. Here's Zach eating 10 seconds in the lane, and like he's in there for two seconds, then his foot goes out and yeah. then goes back in. There's more egregious cases of it than that. There was one against Illinois that was pretty bad. But then Purdue fans Double. get like Purdue Double. fans, Purdue fans get super defensive. Gosh, to mask. Just can't handle it. It's unreal. Four for 20 on threes. Yikes. That's great defense by Shannon. 49 36. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they can fix this Damask turnover thing. Like, it's been multiple weeks. Maybe somebody helps him by running towards him, giving him an easier outlet than that. There you go. Got a little one on one. Coleman, don't kill yourself. <laughs> How many offensive boards does LMA have? 11. Oh, thanks. 51 39. Rutgers makes a three. Gets Shannon some damn shots. It's brutal. <clears throat> Four for 20 from three. <laughs> Not good. Coleman killed that guy. How did that go in? Not to be a single digit game. How did that go in? Our shots are short all over the place. Maybe all the heavy men that's last few weeks catching up to us on jump shots. What do you mean? Underwood said he's not even worried about conditioning. How did that go in? I don't know. Soft hands, I think. Danger coming in. Rutgers has been so bad in this game. I don't know how it's 51 <laughs> 41. Fifty-one forty-two. I don't. I don't understand this. <laughs> they got a thirty-one-year-old going the wrong car. way, boys. Going the wrong way. Please press us. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Good press. They're very effective. Like that. <laughs> Danger, run on the floor or get down there, big fella. Oh, this is annoying. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Holy cow. Still has my basket. He'll get it. He'll get there. He'll get there. Hawkins is so soft. Bring in Dane. He's in. He's in. How is stored 19 years old? (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah, Wisconsin's a real commanding lead over Purdue. <laughs> Oh, God, we're in trouble. Shannon, one for two, up 10. Shannon's 0 for 4 from the field. Yep, hasn't made a shot yet. 0 for 3 from 3. Five points. Defensively, though, he's brought it. He's brought the heat. On the defensive side, which is, you know, a lot of what you want. Thank God. Good board by Harmon. Harmon, trending player of the game. Ugh. Good pass there. Short. <laughs> he didn't have it today. Cherry picking. 52-44. <laughs> Shannon alive. 8-1 scoring run, last minute and a half. Not great. Oh, my gosh. Right, like, it just everything's lazy right now. A little better with the ball here, fellas. Toss another one up, Terrence. Why not? Was he not? <laughs> I was standing flat footed out of bounds. Out. <laughs> All right. Uh, it only did a three. God. 52-47. I mean, Rutgers is getting some crazy bounces here. They're so bad. <laughs> they really are. They're not good at all. They look terrible. I don't know what how we're is, doing. How is it only letting this I don't know what's happening? Illinois can't make a shot. Somehow Rutgers wasn't out of bounds on that save. Twice. They weren't out of bounds twice. Things are crumbling. Ugh, God, figure it out. All right. Reset after the timeout. A little dangerous here, though. Not liking this. Mm, annoying, very annoying. Oh my god. Thirteen one run one to run one. Eleven one. Jeez. Hey, what the happen? Probably should take Shannon out for for a bit. <laughs> They scored 12 points this half. Oh, here's out of bounds one. Oh. oh lucky. What about the other end? Show the other end, Robbie. There's a scrappy bunch, you know. <laughs> Uh, pressing, doubling. I saw it like Shannon's still in. Coleman's back though. Good 
Good slip. Yes. Quincy. Quincy for three. Illinois up eight. At 300 on Illinois. Let's see. <laughs> What is the spread on this? Quincy player of the game trending. It was Harmon two minutes ago. Help. Why like why isn't Coleman putting a hand up over there? It's Quincy and Harmon both wearing the same shoes. Both the only guys who can make threes today. <laughs> They're catching Shoot up it. in the paint. They're catching up. There. Oh. Jesus, Marcus Ruiz. <laughs> Not Coleman had that one. Wide open. Quincy, good take. Good. We'll take one out of two from the line. Here we go. Rutgers is not that good. This good. <laughs> Illinois has a problem with teams that overplay on defense. 55 49. 5 5 4 9. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> oh, shoot. Uh. Uh. Oh, man. Just win this game. Don't care about the score at this point. This team's this team clearly hates Sunday games. Illinois as a whole hates early Sunday games. Always. Every fear is three o'clock tomorrow, two o'clock our time. Yeah, we'll have a podcast on like Tuesday or something. When's the next game? Wednesday, right? Ultimately, the team is responsible for getting themselves ready to play, but the crowd needs to show up on Sundays. They never do. Get juice in that arena. <clears throat> we should know by now, and the team should know by now, there's never going to be any juice. <laughs> Unless everything is going right, there's nothing in there. Unless they're playing Lindenwood, there's no juice. Even then, there's really not. The band dweebs are more into it. <laughs> 21 points given up already in the half. It's brutal. Maybe if Shannon would show up. Carl wants more twos, less threes. 55 49, two shots for Gary. There's no way he makes both. He ain't making the first. This is a disaster. How's he such a bad free throw shooter? <laughs> He's got a lot of, uh... yeah, what issues with that? <laughs> this is both. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Be a four point game. You relax with that language. Uh, right. Cliff, wide open for a dunk. Cool. Four point game. 
playing the scheduler for the games. Schedule does suck. I mean, all the timings of the games. Night games and early Sunday games. Eight o'clock games. Got our worst free throw, or our our most, you know, unsure free free throw shooters. We'll be all right. Going on. We'll be all right. It is six free throws. Shannon and Hawkins are combined 0 for 10 from 3. Oh, my gosh. Shannon can't even make a free throw. Or Hawkins can't make a free throw. Holy cow, boys. Imagine losing this game. <laughs> Don't even go there that time. <laughs> Up by 10 minutes. The... One lone line eye lady is trying to get the crowd going because nobody else can. She's the only one that does it. I know. Harmon. Oh, good hands there. Get a stop down there, Coleman. That's good D. Oh, you got a rebound, boys. No, okay. Shannon, maybe first basket of the season. I mean, the the season? comeback. Sorry. All right, I was getting a little excited. Okay, fans are up a little bit. Now they're cheering a little bit. Uh, six of them are standing, so here we go. Coleman tried to cut the pass. Great Coleman. Hands. Great hands, man. That's phenomenal hands. Hand of the basket. Another one. 60 to 51. Rutgers timeout. Shannon makes two shots in the room. Is that $300 goodbye? <laughs> Calm down, Jay. Shannon heating up. <clears throat> Cue the people on Twitter. It's so weird they're cheering and making <laughs> shots. <laughs> Do you want to I really was questioning the outlet pass. Good stuff. Seems like they're getting rebounds and just instantly, where do I go? Where do I go? Who do I throw to? <laughs> yeah. Where's Shane? Needed a couple, needed to see a couple go in there. That's big time. Fernandez has no chance there. Absolutely none. He has a business decision by him. He got three <laughs> fouls already. Not a lot of tie to the foul trouble. Yeah. I thought Ty was good in the first 10 minutes of the game. Uh, yeah, I don't think that he was doing anything at all. <laughs> Did they go to Northwestern on Wednesday? Yeah. The tough first row game for sure. Yeah. But you know whether it, it's probably going to be a loss, but you know, let's get through this one first, right, guys? Oh, well, the second that he drops his head, yeah, he did. He it. definitely did. Not that it's really that much of a foul, but they're going to call that if he drops his head. Which I don't like. That's Coleman's first, right? Oh, he's got three. What <laughs> happened? What did I miss? He's going to make both free throws, but we have Quincy out there just <laughs> breaking. Carl says to double the bet. I don't know about that. Short. Short. Rebound. Uh. <laughs> Rutgers gets the Dribble. rebound. Don't turn it over. Who's guarding the mask right now? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Not a threat. Harvin. <laughs> right there, man. <laughs> 62-52, Harmon to the rim. Harmon. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. He just called somebody a dumbass. What happened? Fernandez? Fernando uh, and Hawkins must have been tangled. Show it. He looks like he's 30 years old. Might get Dan. I don't think so. 
What game am I watching? I apparently the one where I think Coleman only fouled once. <laughs> what was that called? Uh, why aren't they showing it? Tee him up. Who's gonna be the? Do you think, they, do you think they'll? Okay, let's. Here's a question. Obviously, this game's not over, and it's not going to be today. But do you think they ever put Shannon at the podium? There's no way, right? Even if he has 40 points. Yeah, I don't think so. But also, like, the beat reporters, they can ask their legal questions or whatever. He's not going to say anything. Wow. I, I mean... It's kind of a weird thing to do. Kind of stupid down 10. I mean, why even do that? That's an undisciplined play by a 42-year-old college basketball uh, player. 62-52. Oh, 830, though. It was just – it wasn't even – it's not like – it wasn't really anything that happened. It was just a dumb play. Like, what is he even doing? Yeah, I mean, they can't – Team up. It's definitely not a flagrant. We have a flagrant and an ejection. <laughs> I almost said it should have been a play on. I, yeah, I didn't – that wasn't – just that a, egregious. If anything, it was a he blew it like he immediately blew that whistle. Like it wasn't like this ref obviously doesn't want any funny business. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why they're reviewing it though. It was a weird play. The Mandy's. That's how he says. What was the possession before? Harbor to the rim. <laughs> Ohio State women's basketball beats Iowa. Down goes Iowa now, eighteen to two of the season. Caitlin Clark with Caitlin Clark with forty-five points, three rebounds, and seven assists in a loss. Flagrant one or two? I don't think there's flagrant at all. I think it should be an ejection. Honestly, Get him out of here. Lock was, him up. That was an offensive play. I'm, I'm offended. Now he's going to be out of the game. For could paralyze the man. He's got four fouls. He was third, Harmon's third liking the old weave. Let he's me go third. to the hoop. Come on, Coleman. Make one. That baby. Great pass by Shannon. Smart pass. 65-52. Illinois up 13. Come on. Is the volume going? Or something. Wow. To be fair to the Orange Crush, maybe a little hard to get up for a game against Rutgers. <laughs> right? Okay. What's well, different? That's what we're doing. No, I meant huh? Armin, come on, buddy. I come on, buddy. I don't think we should expect anything of the Orange Crush. Come thing. on. Expectations have never been lower. 67 well, Armin, doing some carving in there. Armin's got 16, 70% from the field. 16, 7 from Armin. We'll take that every day. What is Coleman doing? Oh, there's the double on Cliff. There's the double. Four this might be our best lineup. Of under eight. Playing well. under eight. That's true. We're seeing Utah Valley on the weird folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's an impressive take. What is the 6754? Right. in the chat. We double cliff, it works, yeah. Definitely uh, got him out of his comfort zone. Double. Rez is at the game. Harmon's been playing really well. Uh oh, Kalen 
Clark collided with a court storm stormer after the game. Oh, killed her. Dead. I'm worried Harmon would go back into his show with TJ coming back. Yeah, it's nice to see that he's uh, he's really being the aggressor today. Because Rogers played in the second half. He started, but I don't know if he's played since under 16. Carl, are you calling it yet? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I broke it. It froze. I don't know. I got it on the laptop camera. I have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know why this fucking stream or shit pays, pays money for it. It just fucks us constantly. It just fucking buzzes. It's so annoying. Shannon fakes three, goes baseline, kicks it to Max, to Harmon, to Goody, Goody in the corner, back to Max, back to Harmon, and it goes. But the defense. But Rutgers loses it in transition, we have the ball. Mass to the rim finishes right in the face of Hyatt. 69 to the floor. But sick of screen yard doing this. 9 6 and 5 for Damask. And he could probably have a quadruple double if he, if he counted the turnover. Sound, we don't have sound. Bullshit, there's sound. <laughs> Liar. How do we not have sound? There's literally sound right there. <laughs> Back that? now? Okay. Ridiculous. It was crinkling. Yeah, that's because the MacBook was the, uh, the mic. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's not technically proficient, so it's all right. My bad, guys. Not all of us. Uh, you know, it's really StreamYard's fault, honestly. It's ridiculous. I don't even know how that happens. Uh, they should pay us to use their product. 17 to 5 in the last 420. Pretty much the entire defense collapsing on Cliff. That's well, definitely a foul. You know, shoving a guy while he's moving. <clears throat> 72 56. 5. There you got to go. Sue him. We got a lawsuit pending. Microphone problem. Are we better now, guys? Everything good now? Okay. Sorry. We're not sorry. It was my sorry. fault. Stream your oh, fault. The mass second block. Nice pass. 
uh, take a dribble. Take a dribble. Take a dribble. <laughs> that was a great pass by Coleman, though. Trap him. Oh, not trap him up there. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Rutgers will give you. Oh, That's a foul. You doing here? <laughs> Rutgers will give you give you the ball back if you want it. <laughs> if you want it bad enough. Not a great outing for Luke. Luke. No. Blame Jobs. He was an artist. Thoughts? Yeah, no, no doubt. Ellen has missed a lot of free throws and threes today. Terrence going to get to 10. No, he's not. Where did Jake sit? It's definitely rusty. <laughs> yeah. And we already got a bunch of noise on Twitter about this. This is going to be a tough, be a lot of noise around the program. We'll be battling a lot of outside noise and adversity. They're really Born just wanting Harman. to get the ball going. That's his fifth. See if Fernandez. He's done. 12 for 20 from the line. It's crazy because Shannon was the best free throw shooter. And then while he was out, Illinois was really good from the line. Yeah. And now they're terrible again. <laughs> Fernandez is gone. How's that a charge? His feet were in the air, Hummel. I mean, it probably shouldn't be anything. Get out of the way. It's not a charge. That's what he should probably do. Probably not be 30 and still playing college basketball. How's that sound? Yeah, how about that? Humble. That's even your real name. <laughs> Sucking at basketball? Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> he's, you know, trying to catch the orange crush off guard. Smart guy. Yeah, because the Orange Crush is known for being engaged. They were so loud. I'm sure it really <laughs> bothered Shannon's free throw. Wednesday's game is going to be very interesting. They aren't going to beat Northwestern by 30 again. I'll tell you that. Is that even this Wednesday? I still don't know. Yes. Pretty sure. Good. Hawkins is starting to take the defense up. Shannon. The and one. Up 20 all of a sudden. <laughs> it was just a four-point game. I mean, say we went by Shannon, uh, his teammates like him. Coleman's hands have been elite for sure. That was a good pass, too. Seventy-seven <laughs> fifty-six. Easy win, just like we thought. 22 to 5 run in the last 5 20. <laughs> 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Coleman, defensive player of the year. He's definitely taking it up a notch here in these last 10 minutes or so. A lot of good hands plays. Man, wow. they've been making some of those. They'd have 45 yeah. points if they were making some of those. Shannon start at Northwestern. Yes. Will Harmon start in Northwestern? See a tie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with a yes. I could be wrong. I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with no. Take it back. Only two more days of practice. Go with no. It's going to be a hard game to win at Northwestern. The talent level in Piscataway is going to be going up next year. Yeah. Bringing in Bailey and Harper and those fellas will be very good. But who knows how that translates to the Big Ten. A lot of Big Ten questions next year. How do those Pac-12 teams fit in? 
seems like USC and UCLA have really fallen off in basketball. That's the student section, man. Foul on Specs. <laughs> was that an and one? No, they called it. Yeah, I thought so. What is Illinois in the poll tomorrow? Get back up to 10? 11, maybe? What's the score? 77 58? I think so. I like how I never know the score. But yet you do. But I, I do at the same time. <laughs> Out of all remaining road games, I will be the worst for Shannon. I don't know. I feel like Northwestern's going to be pretty tough. Pretty bad. Like, they have a pretty good home court advantage. Look at the way they played against Michigan State and Purdue. Yeah. In Evanston. So, this is a very old team. He's He's been playing. This is his fifth season, right? So, got to get through it. Maybe be good in the long run. Nine. Jeffrey says nine. And it's all fair game, you know. They're allowed to do what they want to do on the road. Maybe not take it over the line like they probably will, but I don't know. He There's goes, a lot of, not enough losses in front of them to climb the top ten. I was just throwing a number out there, Hinkle. Not that I give a fuck about the poll. The poll sucks, but it could be 11th, maybe. I don't know what Carl's doing, but... It doesn't. It doesn't look what I th- like. I think what you think it should look like, but he's calling it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, it's tough. Eleventh, Hingle. You think eleventh? That's what I said. That's uh, literally what I said. Yeah. I think thirteenth. Go up one spot. Thirteenth? What are you high? One spot. What's the game next weekend? You know, as far as I know, is you were telling everybody. That the effing, effing, effing what? standings don't matter. You said it didn't matter. It you doesn't literally matter. cussed everybody out last Sunday. They got Northwestern. Because they were asking, and now you're okay about it? Saturday afternoon against. Do you uh, think they bump because Taryn maybe. Shannon's back? I don't think they do. No. They're just gonna, they haven't done anything without him there. If they, cared, in. if they cared about Shannon. When, they, when it comes to voting for the poll, they wouldn't. Who's lost? Wouldn't Duke's like seventh, right? So that, that's not going to matter. Uh, Baylor lost. Kansas that's right. lost. They're third. Baylor's ninth. Memphis lost. lost. Okay. Memphis lost. What was Duke? Seventh? They won't drop that far. The home lost. I don't know. Pitt. One and five Pitt. One and five in the conference. All right. Two, uh, two and five now. I mean, Houston lost twice last week and only dropped a five. Baylor lost, Memphis lost. Did Arizona did not lose. Okay, flirted with it though. Auburn's gonna go up quite a bit. Auburn's thirteenth. One of two. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say ele- Illinois is gonna be eleven or twelve, maybe thirteen. I would say eleven at the most. I, I didn't look into it. I'm just <laughs> throwing a number out there. Jeez, not that it matters. Why do we even? It doesn't matter. Tell the, them. the only thing it matters for Tell is them. shows on TV. That's what matters. I agree. Shows on TV. So Shannon with a little steal, a little slam and jamma coming. Oh! If you see a team ranked high, you notice it. You know, like when Illinois was tenth. Get back on defense, son. <laughs> when Illinois was tenth, it was noticeable on TV. Pretty good game from Shannon. 16 overall. points all of a sudden. And he's made four shots now. This all team has played well on the road this year. I'm not worried about the Northwestern game. I think there will be a lot of Illinois fans there, too. Yeah, no need for the F word, Carl says. I Yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the F word, how far into Ted are you? I have finished it. It's oh, already, already finished seven, it. Right? Yeah. Good. good stuff. I'm, uh, yeah. That was a good show. One of my favorite lines is from the second episode where he's on the phone with Clive and he says, yeah, I'm totally uh, fucking uh, your dad. (laughs) He he says, dad, is this really you? And then Ted says that. You know, that's funny. You could tell me to pause with how that sounded, but that was the line. You get another context. But, yeah. That was a good show. Hopefully they do more. I think Seth MacFarlane said it'd be, uh, 
up to the response. I feel like the public response is pretty good. Why, Shannon? Good pass. Oh, Chicken. easy, Coleman. <laughs> oh! You did body him a little bit, but that was... <laughs> damn! He bodied him a little bit, but that was... Yeah, 80 to 58. I don't think he cared one bit if he got him with the body. Oh! <laughs> that was clean as hell, man. Where on the follow through? How is there a if you hit the ball first? Does it matter one. if there's a follow through? Like, like if you already blocked the ball, made some high level athletic plays down the stretch. That was a nice play. I don't, I don't think that should be a foul. It's not Shannon's fault that number one had no chance. <laughs> Eighty to sixty one. Moretti time. Nico. When it's the head, I guess. But did it did they hit his head or his arm? Let Nico cook. Give it to Nico. What are we doing? Our guy Nico. We've always liked Nico. <laughs> this is gonna get down to like a twelve point game. It's gonna end up being a twelve point game or something ridiculous. I guess Ty's done for the day because they take Shannon out, put Nico in. Yeah. But Nico's in with all the other good players. Scrubs trying to get past the math. That ain't going to work. Scrubs. I don't know why I said that. What's his name? Scrubs. Specs. Scrubs. Get He's the scrub. in there. There we go. Here he comes, folks. Utah Valley Harmon today. He's been Harmon phenomenal. Harmon has been really good. A lot of player of the game options. Brad, so, call timeout so DGL's mom doesn't get crazy. Diversify the portfolio of player of the game. 18 points, eight rebounds. Give contest by Nico. Push it. Go. I love the pace of the game. So, player of the game options. We got Gary. Did Coleman Harmon. just travel on purpose to the guys in? I think they just wanted to get it across the court. A lot of starters still in. It's a timeout. He called time. He called travel. That's a timeout. He literally did this. That's a full timeout. <laughs> he literally did that. Starters are out now. Minute 50 left. I think I one of us has to go harder than the other one has to go Gary, right? He said, I didn't want April tweeting at me more. Uh, they, they are up 21. Good turnover there. <laughs> Does Brad get mad about something like that? No. Probably. Who's he going to get mad at? Red. Mr. Red? Sincere. <laughs> Sincere in a number five jersey. <laughs> <laughs> get a taste of next year's team here. <laughs> <laughs> Moretti, DGL, Red. Good evening. Goody and yeah. DGL. He's shooting. He's making it, too. Jesus Christ. Illinois might go over 20 in the Big Ten next year. Are they going <laughs> to add Big Ten games? Like, is there going to be 22 games now? I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, 20 is enough. can't have more than 20. 20 is enough. 20 seems like too many. Go throw it down. DGL, two shot attempts already. 84 63. <laughs> any fights in Shoot the. 50% any, of the field. Any fights in the. Uh, Handshake line at the end? Absolutely not. No. Unless Illinois does horns down at him or something. God, that was pathetic. <laughs> I hate Texas so much. Did you see him cheering yesterday? That was so funny. I, I was rooting hard attacked. for I was rooting hard for Baylor. Oh, AJ Red got hammered. Get him some free throws. Let's go. I was rooting hard for Baylor yesterday. By the way, Ray J. Dennis is high level. He had a bunch of assists yesterday. Yeah. Baylor's guards as a whole. I mean, that team. Two of my favorite teams to watch this year are two teams that played. It's Baylor and Auburn. Really good guard play. I hate Auburn. I'm probably going to have Auburn in my early Final Four. Just wait, just wait for the, until we get to the dock on Monday. Is that tomorrow? Monday is tomorrow, <laughs> yes. AJ misses a free throw. Carl says that Harmon's his vote for player of the game. I'm not going to go with Shannon, although I thought he was good. 
didn't really make anything outside of that the rim. Good defensively. This offense is very good. Like there's moments, Jesus Christ, he was both. There's moments where the, the offense doesn't look good, but Rutgers is a really good defensive team, and you score 84 against them. You gotta take that every day. I wish I would have wrote down what I changed my prediction to, because it had to be something. Close yeah, to defense this. by Nico. Slow it down. Game's over, guys. Game's over. Dang, get him a point. I guess we got a bunch of bums in. I don't think Pike was gonna care about that. Feel like they probably wanted Moretti to. Moretti's getting yeah. hammered now. Oh, that's Max. Max. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the you backups know, are playing hard. If Kucher wouldn't have been injured, I could imagine how good this team could be. He'd be the option three. He's 86, 63. That had to be close to what my updated prediction was. You didn't write down your updated prediction. I'll go back and look at it. Carl, thanks for stopping by. I think Brad and Steve Pike don't got enough respect for each other for them not to be an all out brawl. Eighty six, sixty three, that's final. Yep. Illinois wins by twenty three. So Illinois went from so it was what? 50, what was the score? 55, 51 or something? Yeah, that sounds then exactly then, right. Since yeah. then, Illinois went what? What's the numbers there? 55 says 31, 31, 12 to finish. Take that every day. It's pretty good. We're going to do a little uh, Oregon Utah basketball. Get a look at a future Big Ten school and a future Big 12 school. Yeah, go to the comments. We want to ask you. Thanks, Warner. Thanks, brother. Thanks, Wyatt. Thanks for coming by, guys. Appreciate y'all. Big one. Terrence is back. Harmon's uh, really good. That's all I got. Do the Ohio Wisconsin game? Is that on today? Oh, Wisconsin just played. Am I crazy? See a bootzilla. Appreciate you guys coming by. I'm guessing we'll be back Wednesday for sure for Northwestern. Whiskey played Indiana Friday night. They don't play Ohio State today, do they? I don't see it. <clears throat> Wisconsin beat the crap out of them. Indiana looks terrible. Oh, wrestling, yeah. Wrestling. Shannon, 27 minutes. He's a plus 16. Really? Yeah. Very good. I mean, Illinois Illinois beats Rutgers regardless, but it changes things a little bit when he's out there. What's up, Zach? Missed Shannon's defense? I will say this. People should, uh, Illini fans should steer clear of the comment sections of every Illini tweet. <laughs> like, Rostein, here comes the pain. It's... It's not good. Just uh, yeah. steer clear. Sure it really. is. Steer yeah. clear. They pretend as if Illinois fans can do anything about anything. Like, what are we <laughs> supposed to do? Not root for our fucking team? <laughs> right. God. And also, most of these morons crying about it 
know absolutely nothing about the law or what it's supposed to be about or what it represents. They don't know anything about it. They're lucky they fucking live in this country. I'll tell them that right now. People who don't believe in due process. I was about to say something else. I'm not going to say it. Unless you want me to. Do you want me to? I sure. Why not? No, I don't want to. I don't want to alienate anybody. <laughs> Why not? People are looking for the curse. Right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's tough. I, we got to root for our team. I don't know what anybody wants from this. Like, are we going to not right. root for Shannon when he does good things on the basketball court? I think we need to approach it exactly how the players and coaches are approaching it. That one I would agree with. I mean, the players. Players like him. Yeah. They want him to be there, obviously. It's just so many fucking childish losers. Oh, hello. So many childish people on Twitter. Like, it's Lodge. insane. Yeah. God. They don't believe in due process. They believe in guilty until proven innocent, which is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to flip. It's supposed to be the other way. My knuckles bleeding because of the cold weather. It's like I just. Punch him in the face. I'll do it. Dry hands. It Man's sucks. Some lotion. I don't do that stuff. <laughs> or by a woman. <laughs> sure. I look more like one with hair and no beard. Wow. Any other thoughts from anybody? I mean, Jesus Christ. We come out Whoa. here and nobody wants to talk to us. JC. Calm down. What's wrong with that? Is the golf on? I guess the golf's only gonna be a golf channel today. Because the NBC's got the football. Oh shit, the football started. Let's go Bucks, right? I'm gonna outwardly root for the Bucks because I'm I'm a loser fan who roots openly cheers and brags on Twitter when our divisional opponents lose. Let's go Bucks. Oh yeah. My approach has always been keeping on the DL. Like when the Bears lost to the Eagles in the playoff, I did kind of cheer a little bit. But that was, I guess I understand where the Bears fans are coming from. But it's just like pretty pathetic, though, because it's not like the Packers hadn't been. Like the Bears haven't won a playoff game in like 14 years. That's the big difference. <laughs> yeah. uh, Goody looked awful today on defense and fouls. Yeah, Goody did not have a good game. Uh, Matt said, none of that means anything to me. Federal court said he can play, and I exactly. will be cheering on the line. That's exactly how we used uh, to approach Jeffrey it. said that Toys R Us will be closing soon. What's up, Steve? How you doing? What a game, yeah. They, it, it was a little rough there, about 10-minute mark, but closed it out. I got to guess what they need to do. Have to guess them? Michigan. Or whatever. Pur Purdue. It cl clubs it, no. Alabama. Syracuse. Illinois. No, no, it's not to... Yeah, I got like three of them. <laughs> well, half of them don't even say they're colleges. They say they're fucking high school. Like, who cares? Uh, yeah. I got I had that. I got three three DBs right there. <laughs> and Hutchinson. So. Oh man! Damn it! Come on! Shannon fast breaks in defense. Yeah, towards the toward the last ten minutes, Shannon looked like Shannon will. Yeah. Except when he airballed a three. The threes, yeah. The threes are rough. We're going to have to work on those. Especially because he'd been shooting so well a month ago. <laughs> Easy dubs. Uh oh, pick. Bounces early. That's what you need to play off game. Oh. I know we also watch this BS. Jeffrey's flying the W. I'm still the social media team is posting a lot about Shannon at all. If at all. Like, did they even post anything about him today? 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, what do you think of this flop? What do you think of this flop? I did see that, yeah. Pretty funny. <laughs> Just trying to draw a foul out of the game. <laughs> so the social media team did not tweet anything about Shannon today, but they did tweet about uh, Dane Danger. What are they going to do if he hits a buzzer beater? They're not going to tweet about him? You see this from Ant. Somebody said, Ant, I need your thoughts on Illini fans cheering Shannon when he checked back in. Ant Wright said, just an observation is Illini fans feel TSJ has been targeted and victimized, so the cheering isn't surprising, surprising at all. Is that how you guys feel? Let us know. Yeah, the field of 68 loves their clickbaits. I just don't want to – I just I don't know what else Illini fans are supposed to – do in terms of, I don't. I, I guess I understand the standing ovation thing is kind of weird, but like, they not expect us to cheer when he does something good. I don't. Also, Ant's observation is based on a line I Twitter, which is a fucking cesspool. So <laughs> they don't sure, represent right. the entire fan base. We're not sitting here drawing those conclusions. I think it's smart to try and stay neutral instead, especially when you don't know that much about the law. In shambles right now. Wisconsin is the only team that has a chance of beating this team for the rest of the year in Madison. I see them going into the NCAA tournament with, with five or six losses. It's, I hope, Steve. Hope you're right. They're innocent until proven guilty what America is all about. Yeah, they don't believe that. Don't tell that to him. They don't believe that basketball is a is a human right, though, or something. I don't know. That's what fans say. It's tough. I don't know what they want us to fucking do about it. <laughs> I don't know who Chris Williamson is, but Doug Gottlieb he went after. I always knew Doug Gottlieb was a was a real one. Except when he's stealing stuff. Especially when he when he charged my brother's phone at the Big Ten tournament. Good guy. Good guy. Except he did steal stuff. I think. Right? He had something. There was some case. Uh, somebody discuss it. Was this going to be a penalty on the Bucks? Of course. Yeah, give the Lions everything, huh? I think the Lions are a fun little cute story, but what I don't like about the Lions is that everyone's like, oh, the Lions, oh, my God. Oh, finally won a playoff game. Oh, my God, the Lions. Hey, guess what, everybody? We shouldn't be – like, the Lions have been a shit franchise. They've been run like shit for years, and now we're cheering them on like they're a bunch of fucking make-a-wish kids out there, and they're not like – it's fucking stupid. Like, oh, the Lions, such a cool story. Fuck the Lions and everything they fucking stand for in that shithole city that they play in. Huh? Yeah. But hey, I, you know, I'm not going to, you know, if they win, they win. You know? I have played on a championship team and you see it when you know 05 would struggle with this team. I definitely sure. think this team would. Play well against the 05 team. Like, matchup wise, it's hard. Would this team beat the 21 team head to head? I think they probably would. Just because of like the guard play. Yes. I feel like Frazier and Io would struggle with Shannon and Rogers a little bit. This team's also more likely to be able to expose the weaknesses that 21 had, similar to what Loyola did. But either way, Brad's a terrible coach, so it sucks.
thoughts on other fan bases going to be saying terrible things about our program. I I mean, <laughs> you had to know it was coming, right? Yeah, Twitter's terrible right now. That's what I was reading at on the why. Um, yeah, I, I, you knew it was coming. I, My problem I don't know what else with, you can do. If we look at what the, how the media is handling this, as I've said, I'm fine with the field of 68. They got their clickbait stuff. They got some guys on there that I don't think are great at their after dark stuff. Like Hansborough, I think is not a good listen. But a lot of those guys know basketball because there's a lot of full players and coaches on there. However, a guy like Doster, like he seems afraid to say something, but he's still forming opinions and saying things, despite he seems so scared to say stuff on the stream that they did Friday. Like he just has to go out of his way and call out the standing ovation. Like what the fuck? Like. <laughs> Either quit being a fucking pussy and say everything you're thinking, or don't say anything at all, Doster. Like it's, it's stupid. We also aren't dying to hear what Rob Doster thinks about the Illini. To be fair, say what you want, but we're not dying to hear about that. You know, like oh, Rob. Hey, Rob Doster thinks it's immoral that they did a standing ovation. Like what? The, what the fuck are other Illini? Like what were we supposed to do about it? But I think Doster's a good guy. I think he's pretty good. So Steve, relax. I mean, come on. Steve said he's an idiot. Uh, have to give a shout out to Hunter. He conceded he's zero and five and tips the hat. Yeah, I uh, mean, I fans care way too much about that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like instantly call the dogs, go after Baycott. Like who cares? Baycott. We shouldn't even give any value to his opinion on the Atlanta fans. Yeah, Bake Out. That was a weird. Yeah, that's weird I'm calling you out for sure. You, you called the dogs. Ugh. Sick them. That's what you said about Bake Out. Sick them. Get them. Lines only scored three there. Um, like, yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's going to be a long season for sure. It's not. It's not going to stop. And it's going to be terrible on the road. Very Hopefully curious. Play for Wednesday. Are we doing a watch party Wednesday? I don't know what to do, but we can. You don't want to? Okay. We're not actually. I kind of want to be on Twitter then for that game. That's fine. I don't care. So I can join in on the madness. What about Saturday afternoon against Indiana at home? Uh, Two o'clock Saturday. I don't think I have anything going on. Right we got to do one of the two, so we'll figure it out. Do the podcast Tuesday, I guess. We'll switch to Wednesday at game day. Bullshit schedule. I don't have anything going on this week. Tough Friday. It. Yeah, but I, like four o'clock in the afternoon. If I don't have something going on now, I won't have something going on. Follow the Twitter account. Doster is jealous and thinks Shannon should not play. I don't know if he thinks that. He just seems so. He just thinks that the fan shouldn't cheer for him. Well, the standing it's just weird. Weird. He didn't say cheer. He's just standing. What standing were they supposed to do? It's kind of Sit weird, in their right? chairs and look at him. They got loud. It was an I think that it was obvious they were going to be supporting their player. For what it's worth, the girl who falsely accused Duke Cross team wound up killing her boyfriend. Okay, Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, it will make this team even hungrier to fight for each other. I I agree. It's still, there's going to be it's going to be hard. I think. Hey, nothing wrong but with a little adversity. What's wrong with a little adversity? Nothing. Of course, last year's team couldn't respond to the adversity. Did they? Well, they actually did. They just weren't very good. Oh, no, he said they shouldn't play Shannon. Did he say that? Well, whatever. <laughs> I think Rob Doster is the person who cares most about what Rob Doster says. But I like him. He seems like a nice guy. I'm a fan. <laughs> Maybe he's struggling to handle the off-court stuff. I thought Goodman did a good job on that stream. You can be calculated without saying too much.
Quincy Gary on Terrence Shannon's return. It's definitely great to have him back. A big part of our win was getting him back. The players are on his side. They want to win for him. Whatever. For him. With him. For him. What does that comment say? A lot of it might be clickbait. Well, I think Goodman handled everything pretty well during that stream. I can't. And that was probably the first time I actually listened to Goodman talk. And I cannot stand it. And then had some stuff that was factually wrong. You know who did a good job with it? I thought Warner and Piper are our guys. I thought they did a good job. He's laying in Memphis in a close one with three and a half minutes to go. Oh. What the hell, Chino? Are we having a show tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we're doing our all of college basketball on Decent's page. He can put that in the comments if he would like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's Ethan Carter Sports I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see YouTube. YouTube so we're doing that tomorrow. So we'll do Illinois on Tuesday. We were supposed to do that Friday, but Ethan made the executive decision that we needed to get an Illinois one out on Friday. So very smart. 144 subscribers in this center. So we'll be on that one, talking about all of college basketball. This guy's Warner and Piper, the best in the biz. No offense. I mean, it's all right. they're completely different to, than what we are. <laughs> when it comes to being a complete drip on air, yeah, they're both great. <laughs> I mean, Piper. They, they're they good at like saying the right things and having all the info. That they're also beat guys, but like they are fucking boring on air. <laughs> There's no offense to them, but I just... What time? That'll probably be at 4 o'clock tomorrow, Steve. I assume. Now, is he saying they're the best in the biz at also being entertaining? Because that's definitely not the case. Uh, Jeffrey said they're a bit soft. They're completely... Like, we're, we're completely different yeah, from what they are. The we're, we're, we're more we're like not beat writers. We're not. We're just fans. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not offending. And out of all the fan, all. <laughs> out of all the fan podcasts, we're probably fourth, fourth best. You know? Probably at least fourth. Yeah. But I know they're lining up out the door to watch uh, two hundred level or whatever the fuck that is. He wishes he was a beat writer. Yeah, professional reporters. Yeah, we're not. We're not that. We're just idiots that watch basketball games. They don't rock the boat. Oh, Thanks, Bootzilla. Appreciate you. Two lane up two. More personal and all about the Illini. We're strictly Illini basketball podcast. Until we do. Steve, tomorrow it's going to be all college basketball, though. So if you want to watch that, you can listen to Ethan talk for like an, an hour and a half stream. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's not going to go that hard. He always does. But we appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, if you this haven't, is, hit the subscribe button. It's, I think it's down here. Uh, that looks terrible. That's right. <laughs> Harmon uh, said about Shannon's return, it just makes the team feel whole again. Interesting. Fair. Now they're going to start going for the other players. What what Big Ten school has the shittiest fan Twitter account? Is it Purdue? Because that Boiler Texas yeah. account fucking sucks. I think. That I mean, guy's it's probably zero. Illinois. But oh, yeah, outside of Illinois. It's <laughs> obviously Illinois. Purdue would be too. I mean, Boiler in Texas, whatever the fuck that is, that guy's a zero. Yeah. Or woman, I don't know. I'm not going to assume. It's true. Zero, either way. Like responding to Illinois standing ovation to Shane, like, these are Illinois fans. What else do you expect? Yeah, <laughs> fuck you guys. Guys, I always keep it 100. Avid reader and researcher, shoulder show. No. 
Ethan grow some scuff. I had baby face too when I was young. Hmm. Said that you needed to get some scruff on that face. Give it like a week. A itch. You don't think hate would be that bad? Whew. I, you might. Not. I mean, <clears throat> Twitter is a completely different beast. Do you I think guess. there's ever going to be a time where a, a student section goes over the line and they get called out by the coach or another? Like, I don't know. Saying. Like, do you chant like? You can't. That's fine. You're an R word. That's that's low, man. <laughs> that's low. I guess it's all fair game. Illinois, we can't really complain about it, you know. Oh, our fans don't change anything. Our fans don't even know there's a fucking basketball game going on. <laughs> Tulane hasn't beaten an AP ranked opponent since 1999. And it was the 25th ranked team. Wow. Yesterday was, look at that hair. Yesterday was the first time Pittsburgh won at Duke since 1979. <laughs> the first that ever won at Duke. That guy's. You don't do Twitter, you just mean in the stands? Okay. Twitter's already brutal. Um, I don't know, I think student sections will be. We'll find out Wednesday. And then they go Ohio State after that, I think, is the next road game. Yeah, so. I mean, they, these guys are louder than Orange Crush. The smaller arena. Pack it in. Plus, they uh -huh. got their coach trying to hype everybody up. Coach going. Ron Hunter Sr., I think, is still at Tulane. Remember him? <laughs> That's crazy. Big Hill said, I forgot. Ron Hunter is still Tulane's yeah. coach. He's nuts. Where was he? He was at... Uh, Whatever school he was at when his son hit the game winner in the end of the tournament, he fell out of his chair. Oh, Where was he at? He was somewhere before. It's a nice dribble. <laughs> How do you dribble at IUPUI? That wasn't the one that where he was when they hit the buzzer beater. Though. Georgia, it was Georgia State. Georgia State. You get it like, is this your burner? What's going on? Here? Yeah. You Talking to yourself? Why don't you go back and look at the doctor tomorrow? Yeah, I got some Coach of the Year candidates and All Americans that I filled in like a two weeks ago. Might have to make some changes. Okay, That was not a foul. Oh, look clean. That's a he foul. Didn't complain, though. That's a foul to foul him out, too. How do you feel about people not complaining? It's so interesting. Foul out. They're going to storm the court. <laughs> They're going to storm the court, and then Quinterly's going to run right into a, a, a student. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Wow. They just wasted a possession arrow for that. <laughs> It's a lazy basketball. One more stop, I guess. They use. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh. Travel. Who got fouled? These refs are inserting themselves into the game. How is there a foul then? I thought that was a clean strip. How many how many hardaways does Memphis have? Penny's kids. Produced down three to Indiana. That, that was not a foul. 
J Hardaway, A Hardaway, and L Hardaway. They have three. Yeah, this Chris Williamson guy is a fucking loser on Twitter. <laughs> what was zero? Don't call yourself a journalist if you're going to fucking ignore the facts. Fucking loser. No pictures of Shannon when they tweeted the four pictures on the basketball account. They are avoiding it hard. <laughs> Illinois is up to number nine on Ken Palm right now. Social media that counts a bunch of fucking pussies. They're scared. <laughs> hype video? Why did they come out with a hype video? That would be tough. They never took down the one day in the line. That's good. We were at the peak then. Comments on it are really good, though. <laughs> go! Why would you go at six? That is crazy. You want three or two here? Oh, that's my player to. Player watch right there. David Jones. Go for glory? No. You or avoid take overtime. The, take the hoop. Take the house. Take the house. They'll probably give you a foul call. The way these refs are calling it. Are we entertaining? I kind of, like I kind of get fourteen people watching play video games, and we're sitting in these chairs doing absolutely nothing. Why are people going after Godly for that tweet? Like it's, it's a pretty <laughs> sensible tweet. Godly is a real one. Chris Jones, Louisville point guard. Was arrested and charged with rape. Oh, yeah. Booted from the school and team, was completely exonerated and wasn't even present when the alleged incident. Why are why do people on Twitter think they're smarter than a fucking federal judge <laughs> who knows way more about everything about this entire thing than any of us? Yeah. Why the fuck? Do people on Twitter think that they're smart? They're all fucking morons, including me. I'm not dumb enough to comment on this nonstop, though. That's one thing that Good Bloom said, is that the uh, the judge obviously knows way more about the case than we do. And law. The law. Now they're bringing up that uh, that court storming comment from Painter because of Caitlin Clark trying to draw a foul in yeah. the court storm. The Kim game, they're going to make a run, and they did. And and, and I thought we really, really uh, turned it up. Um, energy wise, defensively, um, I thought that, that that you know we got out in transition. Which is, is is something that obviously uh, Terrence is going to continue to add to us, but um, uh, then I thought Quincy hit a big three in the corner out of a timeout, and then Justin Harmon was just sensational today. Um, he's a downhill driver, and um, he's shooting the three at a really high clip. And, but um, a lot of respect for them, and and um, you know Cliff had a big game, but. Um, uh, we were trying to make it very, very hard on Mag Simpson and, and, and Hyatt, and not let those guys get going. Uh, so, uh, you know, Coleman, another five steals. Uh, you know, he's, he's, I think, 11 steals in the last oh, two no. games. Oh, uh, no. He had a tough night shooting it for a guy who's one of the top guys in the league in shooting oh. it. But, uh, <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> <laughs> guys on the ground. <laughs> what a disaster with by the security cars. Uh, uh, they're trying at least. <laughs> Better than uh, Ohio State. Tried. What is the point of a course over anymore? Everybody just has their phones out. It's not cool anymore. It's really not cool anymore. I'm so glad I'm always not in a spot where they're ever going to course over anybody. That should be when you're done when your court. Fun. See you, Matt. When, when your court storming days are over, that's when you should feel good as a program because the, we're past those days. That's true. You yeah, know, we're past those days. The world's are past the street. We gotta go. This yeah. is too well, much. Just well, we'll be back Tuesday, guys. We'll see you Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Yeah. Actually, this Tuesday. But I wanted to make a joke that no, I can't turn off the stream. Can you turn it back on? Yeah, let me turn it back on. See you guys. Yeah, we'll see everybody uh, Tuesday or tomorrow if you like college basketball. If you don't, it's fine. I mean, I would.